The AI arms race has given rise to behemoth machine learning models, bloated networks straining under billions of parameters. But in recent years, bigger hasn't always meant better. And now, a new challenger comes to defy the norms. Hailing from the legendary Microsoft Research Labs, this lean, mean AI machine is stepping into the ring to take on all comers. With razor-sharp reasoning skills and blistering computational speed, it packs a mighty punch in a petite package. This daring David ready to take on the Goliaths of AI has a name, Phi 1.5. Microsoft is pressing down on the accelerator of innovation while putting the brakes on brute force in AI. So what exactly is Phi 1.5? It's a new language model developed by Microsoft using a type of neural network architecture called a transformer. With just 1.3 billion parameters, it's much smaller than other popular AI models. But impressively, it matches or even beats the performance of models that are 5 to 10 times bigger. To understand why Phi 1.5 is so groundbreaking, let's first look at what transformer models actually are. Transformers are neural networks that are especially effective for natural language processing tasks. This includes capabilities like translation, text summarization, and question answering. Transformers were first introduced in 2017 in a pivotal paper called Attention is All You Need by researchers at Google. They represented a major advance compared to previous neural network architectures like recurrent neural networks and convolutional neural networks. But what makes transformers special? They utilize a mechanism called attention. Essentially, attention allows the model to focus on the most relevant parts of the input when processing data. This makes transformers excellent for handling long sequences of data like sentences or documents. Microsoft's Phi 1.5 leverages this powerful transformer architecture, but it was developed with some unique features to enhance its abilities even further. One key element that sets Phi 1.5 apart is its training data. Most language models today are trained on massive data sets scraped from the internet, but for Phi 1.5, Microsoft opted for more curated sources of data. The core of Phi 1.5's training includes synthetically generated textbook-style data. This textbook data was created to teach the model general knowledge and common sense across a wide range of topics. In addition, Phi 1.5 was trained on targeted data related to computer programming. This included samples of Python code from Stack Overflow, coding competition examples, and synthesized programming textbooks generated by AI. This specialized training focuses on Phi 1.5 on understanding programming logic and language. As a result, the model displays impressive skills in code generation, debugging, and solving programming problems. Now, we can say that Phi 1.5 represents an exciting new milestone in AI capabilities. Leveraging a transformer-based architecture, its combination of general knowledge data and programming-focused training enables outstanding performance on language and reasoning tasks. Additionally, now we'll look at some specific examples of how Phi 1.5 stacks up against far larger models in benchmark evaluations. The results may surprise you. Previously, we learned about the background and training of Microsoft's new AI model Phi 1.5. With its specialized data and transformer architecture, Phi 1.5 displays skills in areas like reasoning and programming. But how does it actually stack up against other state-of-the-art AI systems? Well, Microsoft put Phi 1.5 through a series of benchmarks to find out. The results provide solid proof that bigger doesn't always mean better when it comes to AI. Let's look at some key benchmarks where Phi 1.5 shined. First up are tests that measure common sense reasoning abilities. These included challenging data sets like Wino Grande, ARC, and Bull Q. Across the board, Phi 1.5 matched or outscored other models with over five times as many parameters. For example, on the Wino Grandi reasoning test, Phi 1.5 scored 73.4%. That edges out models like Google's Muppet with seven billion parameters, which scored 68%, and Meta's Llama, also with seven billion parameters, which scored 66.9%. On ARC, a challenging machine reading comprehension dataset, Phi 1.5 scored 75.6%. That beats Microsoft's own Turing NLG model with 17 billion parameters, which scored 71.7% on ARC. Another benchmark measured 
knowledge and understanding beyond common sense reasoning. Tests like PIQA, Hellaswag and Open Book QA were included. Once again, Phi 1.5 held its own against much larger models. On the challenging PIQA abductive reasoning dataset, Phi 1.5 scored 76.6%. That's comparable to META's 7 billion parameter LAMA model at 78.1% and better than a 7 billion parameter version of Google's Palm model, which scored 72.2%. And on the language understanding test, Hellaswag, Phi 1.5 scored 47.6%. That score edges out Google's 137 billion parameter Palm 54B model, which only scored 46.9% accuracy. Furthermore, Phi 1.5 also displayed new capabilities not found in many other models when evaluated on multi-step reasoning tasks. The GSM-8K datasets tests mathematical word problem solving. Phi 1.5 was able to correctly solve 40.2% of the problems by generating written Python code. That far surpasses previous models, like Google's 2.7 billion parameter GPT-NEO, which scored less than 3% on GSM-8K. During these benchmarks, another version of Phi 1.5 augmented with filtered web data was also tested. This sibling model, called Phi 1.5 Web, performed even better across the board, further demonstrating the efficiency of the Phi models. I believe benchmark evaluations clearly validate that model size does not always predict performance when it comes to AI systems. With the right architecture and training, smaller models like Phi 1.5 can match or beat far larger models in areas ranging from reasoning to math problem solving. This has exciting implications for the future development of AI, pointing towards more efficient and accessible models for real world use. The story of Phi 1.5 is just beginning but it has already made a mark as a mighty model in a small package. So far, we've learned about the background of Phi 1.5, its unique training and impressive benchmark results compared to larger models. However, like any AI system, Phi 1.5 does have some limitations. Initially, while it performs very well in controlled testing environments, Phi 1.5 has yet to be thoroughly evaluated in real-world applications. Research benchmarks are helpful, but don't fully replicate how models perform in messy, unpredictable, real-world situations. Further testing will be needed to better understand Phi 1.5's capabilities and limitations for deployment in areas like search engines, conversational agents, and other AI applications. In addition to this, there are still concerns about potential biases and mistakes in Phi 1.5's output. While Microsoft took care in curating quality datasets, no training data is perfect. There is always a risk of inheriting human biases from the data. Likewise, Phi 1.5 does not have human-level reasoning skills. It may occasionally make logical mistakes or give out inaccurate responses, especially for complex domain-specific topics outside its specialized training. Therefore, it will be critical to responsibly test Phi 1.5 to detect any unwanted biases. When deploying Phi 1.5, safeguards must be in place to catch and correct potential errors. Despite these current limitations, the development of Phi 1.5 highlights an exciting future ahead in AI research. Models like Phi 1.5 are demonstrating that smaller, efficient architectures can unlock new capabilities with the right training approach. In the future, models may need only millions or a few billion parameters to achieve remarkably human-like reasoning and versatility. This could enable AI applications on local devices rather than relying solely on giant models running in the cloud. Imagine a future where your personal AI assistant fits neatly on your smartphone rather than requiring a server farm to run. Smaller models require far less computing power to train and run. This makes developing and democratizing AI more feasible globally while also reducing energy usage, a key sustainability concern around today's massive neural networks. Massive models can have carbon footprints equal to that of whole towns. Efficient models like Phi 1.5 point the way towards an AI revolution that works for all people, not just big tech companies. Additionally, specialized and multitask models like Phi 1.5 point towards AI that is proficient in targeted domain, such as math, science, medicine, and more. These skilled AI agents could aid humans in an infinite number of fields and applications, whether it's AI tutors enhancing education, 
AI assistance improving healthcare access, or AI tools accelerating scientific breakthroughs. Specialized models open an exciting world of possibilities. So, while work remains to improve and test models like FI 1.5, they represent promising steps towards more efficient, accessible, and beneficial AI worldwide. Microsoft's model guides the way to a future of AI that has brain-like versatility in the palm of your hand. In the palm of...